Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a serious bacterial infection that affects the nervous system. The bacterium responsible for tetanus is called Clostridium tetani, which is commonly found in soil, dust, and animal feces. The bacterium enters the body through a wound or cut, and produces a toxin that affects the nervous system. Symptoms of tetanus typically appear within a few days to a few weeks after infection. The initial symptoms include muscle stiffness and spasms, particularly in the jaw and neck. Other symptoms may include fever, sweating, rapid heartbeat, and difficulty swallowing. In severe cases, tetanus can cause respiratory failure and death. Tetanus is a preventable disease, and vaccination is the most effective way to protect against it. The tetanus vaccine is typically given as part of the routine childhood immunization schedule, and booster shots are recommended every 10 years for adults. In addition to vaccination, good wound care is also important to prevent tetanus infection. This includes cleaning and disinfecting any wounds, and seeking medical attention for any deep or dirty wounds. If someone does develop tetanus, treatment typically involves hospitalization and supportive care, such as medications to control muscle spasms and breathing assistance. In severe cases, a person with tetanus may require a ventilator to help them breathe. Overall, tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that can have potentially life-threatening complications. However, with proper vaccination and wound care, it is largely preventable. Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a serious bacterial infection caused by the bacterium Clostridium tetani. The bacterium is found in soil, dust, and animal feces, and can enter the body through a wound or cut. Once inside the body, the bacterium produces a toxin that affects the nervous system, leading to muscle stiffness and spasms. Tetanus is more common in developing countries where vaccination rates are low, but it can occur anywhere in the world. It is most often seen in individuals who have not been vaccinated or who have not received a booster shot in many years. The symptoms of tetanus usually appear within 7 to 21 days after infection. The first symptom is often stiffness in the jaw muscles, which can make it difficult to open the mouth or swallow. Other symptoms may include muscle stiffness and spasms, fever, sweating, and rapid heartbeat. Tetanus can be a life-threatening condition, especially in individuals who have not been vaccinated. Treatment typically involves administering a tetanus vaccine and a dose of tetanus immune globulin to neutralize the toxin. Antibiotics may also be prescribed to prevent further infection. Prevention is the best way to avoid tetanus. This includes getting vaccinated with a tetanus vaccine, which is usually given in combination with other vaccines such as diphtheria and pertussis. Booster shots are recommended every 10 years to maintain immunity. In addition to vaccination, individuals can reduce their risk of tetanus by practicing good wound care. This includes cleaning and disinfecting wounds promptly, especially if they are deep or dirty. It is also important to seek medical attention for any wound that shows signs of infection, such as redness, swelling, or pus. Overall, tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that can be prevented through vaccination and good wound care. Early treatment is crucial for a successful recovery. 1. Lean meats. Lean meats such as chicken, turkey, and beef are rich in protein, which is essential for building and repairing muscles. Protein also helps to boost the immune system, which is important for fighting off infections like tetanus. 2. Dark leafy greens. Dark leafy greens like spinach and kale are high in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin K, which is important for blood clotting. This can be especially important for people with tetanus, as the disease can cause muscle spasms and convulsions that can lead to injuries. 3. Nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds are a good source of magnesium, which is important for muscle and nerve function. This can be especially important for people with tetanus, as the disease can affect the nervous system and cause muscle spasms. 4. Citrus fruits. Citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruits are high in vitamin C, which is important for the immune system. Vitamin C also helps the body to absorb iron, which is important for building red blood cells. 5. Whole grains. Whole grains like brown rice and quinoa are a good source of carbohydrates, which provide the body with energy. They are also high in fiber, which can help to regulate digestion and prevent constipation, 
which can be a side effect of some tetanus medications. 1. Processed meats. Processed meats such as ham, bacon, and sausage are high in sodium and nitrates, which can increase the risk of developing tetanus. It is best to avoid these types of meats and opt for fresh, lean meats instead. 2. Sugary foods. Consuming sugary foods such as candy, soda, and pastries can weaken the immune system and make the body more susceptible to tetanus. It is important to limit the intake of these foods and choose healthier options such as fruits and vegetables. 3. Fried foods. Fried foods such as French fries and fried chicken contain high levels of saturated and trans fats, which can increase inflammation in the body and weaken the immune system. It is best to avoid these types of foods and opt for grilled or baked options instead. 4. Alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption can weaken the immune system and make the body more susceptible to infections such as tetanus. It is important to limit alcohol intake and drink in moderation. 5. Caffeine. Consuming too much caffeine can dehydrate the body and weaken the immune system. It is best to limit caffeine intake and drink plenty of water to stay hydrated and healthy. Tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that can be life-threatening if left untreated. It is caused by the Clostridium tetani bacterium, which is found in soil, dust, and manure. The bacterium can enter the body through a wound or cut, and produce a toxin that affects the nervous system. There are several steps you can take to prevent getting tetanus. 1. Get vaccinated. The tetanus vaccine is the most effective way to prevent tetanus. It is usually given as part of the DTAP, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, vaccine series in childhood, and then as a booster every 10 years. 2. Clean and cover wounds. Any wound, no matter how small, should be cleaned thoroughly with soap and water. If the wound is deep or dirty, seek medical attention. Cover the wound with a sterile bandage or dressing to keep it clean and dry. 3. Wear protective clothing. If you work in an environment where you are at risk of getting cuts or puncture wounds, wear protective clothing such as gloves, boots, and long-sleeved shirts. 4. Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially before eating or preparing food. Avoid touching your face or mouth with dirty hands. 5. Avoid high-risk activities. Avoid activities that increase your risk of getting tetanus, such as handling soil or manure without protective clothing, or using dirty or rusty tools. In conclusion, tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that can be prevented by getting vaccinated, cleaning and covering wounds, wearing protective clothing, practicing good hygiene, and avoiding high-risk activities. By following these steps, you can reduce your risk of getting tetanus and stay healthy. Tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that affects the nervous system. It is caused by the Clostridium tetani bacteria and is often referred to as lockjaw due to its characteristic symptom of muscle stiffness in the jaw and neck. The best way to prevent tetanus is through vaccination. The tetanus vaccine is given as part of routine childhood immunizations and is recommended for adults every 10 years. If you have not been vaccinated or are unsure of your vaccination status, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider. If you do contract tetanus, prompt medical treatment is essential. Treatment typically involves a combination of medications and supportive care. Antibiotics are often prescribed to help fight the bacterial infection. In severe cases, antitoxin may also be given to neutralize the toxins produced by the bacteria. In addition to medication, Supportive care is also important for managing symptoms and preventing complications. This may include wound care to prevent further infection, pain management to alleviate discomfort, and muscle relaxants to reduce muscle stiffness. If left untreated, tetanus can lead to serious complications such as respiratory failure and death. However, with prompt medical treatment and supportive care, most people with tetanus make a full recovery. In summary, the best way to prevent tetanus is through vaccination. If you do contract tetanus, prompt medical treatment is essential and typically involves a combination of medications and supportive care. With proper treatment, most people with tetanus make a full recovery. I hope you found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing and setting notifications for future updates.